Okay, let's start with the standard enthalpy change of formation. So uh, enthalpy is measured in kilojoules per mole, but energy is measured in kilojoules. Uh, this triangle is delta, that means change in. H is enthalpy and F for formation. And that uh, plimsoll or Saturn sign, no one's quite sure, is 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals. Alrighty, the definition, energy change in standard conditions when one mole of a compound is formed from its elements in its standard state. Uh, the IB favorite one here is nitric acid. It's a liquid. Uh, don't put AQ because then that will be two things, water and nitric acid. So I know that the standard state of hydrogen is H2 and it's a gas. Don't forget the, uh, don't forget the state symbol or you'll lose a point. And O2. Now, since I'm only making one, it's one mole, I'm going to put a one here to try and keep myself honest, to make sure that stays at one. All right, now I need to balance. Half here and a three over two there. So any mistake and you'll lose the point because there's normally a one point question. Another one they could ask is a sodium iodate. That's ionic, so that's going to be a solid, strong bonds. So I've got sodium, that's a metal. Metals are solid, except for mercury. I've got iodine, that's a solid. Need half of that. And then I've got oxygen again. So that begs the question, how do you know what the standard states are? Okay, well, let's zoom to the periodic table. There's an expectation you'll know the states of almost all of these. I'm going to draw the zigzag in for the uh, metals and semi-metals. So on this side of metals, metals are solid, metals are solid, metals are solid. Oh, except for that, that's mercury. That's a liquid. So any metals are solid. For the non-metals, <coughs> well, you're supposed to know which ones are diatomic. So you've got Brinkelhoff. Thank you, Mr. Squires, uh, for teaching me this. Brinkelhoff. Bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, fluorine. And there's also the expectation that you know the state of these. So nitrogen and oxygen are gases. Oh, geez, you should know that. You're literally breathing it now. Fluorine's a gas. Chlorine's a gas. Bromine's a liquid. You're expected to know that. And iodine is a solid. You're expected to know that. What about these ones here? They're all gases, they are, but uh, they pretty much don't do any chemistry. So I'm likely to ask you for the uh, heat of formation of anything there. All right. Okay, standard enthalpy change of combustion. Uh, that has delta HC with that little symbol. So the energy change in standard conditions when one mole of a compound is completely combusted. So complete combustion is going to give you carbon dioxide and water uh, for pretty much any organic chemical made of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. The IV favorite, well, first of all, make sure there's one of them. Whatever it is, make sure there's only one of them. I'm going to choose uh, ethanol, because there's a couple of little things people mess up. Again, it's one point, and if you haven't got the state symbols there, you're going to lose that one point. Uh, if I'm burning it, it's going to be in oxygen. That's a gas, standard temperature. And I'm going to make carbon dioxide, and I'm going to make water. Okay, two problems. Uh, the first problem is that people balance the oxygen wrong often because they forget about that oxygen there. So I've actually got uh, one, two, three, four. I've got two of these. I've got three of these. So that's going to give me three here. But people often put three and a half. That's it. Uh, the other way you're going to lose your point on this is okay carbon dioxide is a gas but you know what the water is a liquid water is a liquid now hold on i thought if you burn something isn't it going to be really hot and make gaseous water no no standard conditions so the water is a liquid okay they have asked quite a cheeky question before uh, uh well delta hc for this is actually minus 1367 kilojoules per mole and what they've asked is okay let's say you really did this but you made three gaseous 
molecules instead of liquid, how would that delta H value change? And so the answer is, is that the delta H value would actually become more positive. It would increase. And the reason for that is, is because if you're making liquid water, it's minus 1367 energy has been released. But if you're going to take some of that energy and turn it from a liquid to, to gaseous water, breaking hydrogen bonds and all that, then actually not all of that energy is going to be released as heat. Some of that energy is going to go into a bond breaking endothermic process. And so maybe the answer would be, I don't know, it might be minus a thousand or something like that. You might have to do the maths with the correct data. Finally, there's mistakes and identify this as formation or combustion. Maybe pause the video. Uh, you didn't pause the video. My bad. Okay, so this one's garbage because I need state symbols. So sodium chloride is a solid. It's ionic, and that's going to give me metal is a solid. It's a metal. Chlorine's a gas, and that has to be a half. Okay, and then that's going to be the heat, the standard heat of uh, standard enthalpy change of formation for sodium chloride. The one below, that's combustion, and that's garbage because it has to be a one here. So in a multiple choice, that's how we're going to try to trick you. So then this would be one and a half. That would be one. And that would be two to make it work. Uh, for this one, a couple of mistakes. Uh, that's going to be a liquid, isn't it? We talked about that, standard condition, uh, standard temperature and pressure. And nitrogen monoxide, isn't complete combustion going to get me nitrogen dioxide? You're supposed to know uh, about that for the acid rain section of the unit. That would mean that the balancing is wrong and that that should be two and a quarter. Oh, oh. I come on two and a quarter. And for the last one, well, that was actually right, but that's a little ambiguous. Uh, you could say this is the heat of formation, change formation for uh, carbon dioxide, because I'm making one mole of carbon dioxide when the elements in their standard state. Or it's also the uh, enthalpy change of combustion, standard conditions for carbon, because I'm burning one mole of carbon uh, in oxygen completely. And we're done. Thank <laughs> you.